I love watching an Adams Family every October. Ah, speaking of a good Halloween movie, uh, what'd you get the trick or treaters this year? Yeah, I'll probably just pick up some candy bars tonight. Uh. The hell is that? Um, that would be trick or treaters because it's October 31st and not the 30th. What? Man. Uh, where are you going? Coming, uh, wait, coming. Wait, wait, you're in your underpants. You can't give him that junk. Oh, hello. Oh, a witch. Oh, oh here's some, uh, oh. here's some, uh, painkillers for you. Oh, God. Ooh, a fortune cookie. Ooh, do you like donut house coffee? I hate you! Oh, nice. <gasps> More coming! What? Serena, we need candy! Greetings! And welcome to a special Halloween edition of Cooking with Batman! What are you supposed to be? Hey, hey, what about and friends? Oh, and friends! Hey, or and a robber! I'm not, I'm, no, I'm a, I'm a cat burglar! Uh, uh, that's clever. Thank you. The cat burglar who got caught, apparently, because yep. you. Yeah. Yeah, I look great. I'm adorable, like I always am. So because it's Halloween coming up, I'm going to be making a pumpkin pie, not with my usual list of things that I make. Have you ever made a pumpkin pie before? Of course I have, every oh. Halloween. Yeah, right, you didn't do one last year. Last year you made, uh, uh, what was it, grilled cheese? That was your Halloween episode last year. Grilled cheese. So yeah. Well, the year before I made two pumpkin pies. Well, I wasn't around, so maybe you did. I did, Despite me. I did. Despite me. Squeaky, squeaky. That's the sound a cat burglar makes. What? No, because they're a cat burglar. You're supposed to be silent. Squeaky, squeaky. On with the pie, Batman. Squeaky, squeaky. Okay, everyone, we're going to preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Squeaky, squeaky. You're a cat burglar. You're not supposed to make any sound at all. That's the sound of being sneaky. Okay, you know what? I've already preset my oven. I still have my crime fighting gloves on. I've got my crime fighting band braces on, and I'm ready to do some crime fighting because apparently you're a cat burglar. Uh -huh. Wow, way to call my bluff. Way to call. You, you know you make me look like an ass sometimes. Well, that's because you are. Oh my! On with the pie! On with okay. the pie! Take off your crime fighting gloves. Take off your crime fighting band braces. Blah blah blah. Roll up your sleeves, and uh, don't forget to wash your hands. Now, I have to dry my hands really well, because I'm going to be doing pinches of spices here. Oh, pinches. Pinches. Ah. So, we want to get all the soap off, and then we're going to also want to get all the moisture off. There we go. That should be good. Yeah. It, it will be good. Well, now, I'm curious to see if you can make one right. All right. First things first, you are wondering what's with this plate that has two globules of uh, pumpkin puree on it. Yep. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, this takes a very special uh, bit of care. We're just going to slide that over there in front of you for a few minutes there, for a couple of minutes. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a prepared pie plate. Nobody wants to watch me unroll a pie that I didn't even make myself. I just bought a frozen pie. Why didn't you use dough, Batman? Why didn't you make dough? Because nobody wants to watch me make them. I'm trying to condense this. I haven't even started my pie. All and right, already we're at like two right. minutes. I'm, I'm trying to get my episodes of Cooking with Batman down to a level that pie. people actually want to watch. Nobody wants to watch me for 20 minutes at a time. I'm trying to get my episodes down and like. Okay, okay. So we're going to grab this. I have a can of pumpkin puree. I've already opened it up. And we're going to take about 400 milliliters of this, uh, which is half a can. So we'll just. Uh, Ooh, it can count. Yeah, that's, that's about half a can. It's about half a can right there. Or not. And we're just gonna... What do you mean I can count? I just did! I just did! It's about. Okay. Brown sugar. We're gonna do a cup of compressed brown sugar here. Now, if you notice, a cup of compressed brown sugar really compresses quite a lot. And I don't want to make a mess. I'm trying not to make a mess either. Alfred has been really on me for that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he has. He really has. Pack it in. Just, just pack it in, Batman. So in order to prevent myself from making a mess, like I've, got, 
I've got a cup that's almost full, and I've got another three quarters cup. You can go ahead and pack down one cup, but I'm going to measure it out by just taking a cup and a three quarters of a cup of unpacked brown sugar. And I'm not even gonna fill them up to the brim. There we go. That's approximately um, one packed cup of uh, dark brown sugar. Now I am using dark brown. Uh, use golden brown if you want. I like dark brown. I think it tastes really good and yet it's still sweet. Uh, there are beans on the stove. They are not related to what I'm making. Yeah, I'm yeah, not. What was with the pot? I'm not making kidney bean pie. Yeah. No kidney bean pie today. There we go. Now I've got a couple of eggs. And just, uh, just to show you how fair I am, I've got yeah. a, a brown egg and a white egg. Yeah! Alright, now the white eggs have a soft what color they are. Just give me Ooh. eggs, birds. Yes. Yeah! Yes, did you, did you hear how silent that was? Now this one's gonna be harder to crack because the brown eggs are harder. Oh yeah. Put that one in the Yum. bowl too. Yeah. Um, if you have an assistant, you can get your assistant to mix up the eggs for you in advance. I do not have an assistant. Now I'm going to rinse the eggs off my hands, and once again, uh, I guess I didn't have to dry them all that well the first time. This nice and dry here. Move this aside. We've got all this here. And we're going to do a uh, sprinkle of salt. Ooh. Yes. A and uh, And this is brown ginger. I uh, use the freshest you can find. The freshest ginger I can find is about two or three years old. When did they make the gingerbread cookie? Were you here for that? No, so oh. yeah, three years old. There we go. A little bit of sprinkle of some ginger in there. And we're gonna do about a teaspoonish of cinnamon, which is, whoa, that's like a, a tablespoon of cinnamon. Ah. A tablespoon of cinnamon, not a teaspoon. And, nice um, going, and whenever you're baking, you have to use half as much nutmeg as you do cinnamon. So I guess that means we're using about a teaspoon of, uh, of uh, uh -huh. nutmeg. That's a, that's a lot of nutmeg. There we go. There we go. We haven't messed up anything. Now, I do have a can here. It's evaporated milk. I'm going to use half this can, but I have to shake it, so I didn't pre-open the can. Shake, shake, shake. I'm not going to... Oh, you're already dancing as if I was going to say the rest of the song. Shake your booty. Yes, that. Yeah. So now we're going to open it. Now, there's a reason why I have that uh, plate. The pumpkin? Yes. All right. So what is it? If you're like me, when you use a can opener, you trigger animals other than yourself to do things. So we have this, and then we're going to take this, and we're going to place it over here, and just slide it across the floor. Where? Now. Now the expectations have been uh, have been changed and met. Wow, they're really going for it. Yeah, yeah, they go for it. Uh, we're gonna use half of this. About. Ooh, yum, milk. Eh, you know what? We used a little extra on the nutmeg, so we have a little more evaporated yum. milk. You sure do like your uh, things. Eggs and milk. Okay, so yum. Let's put the pie in front of you. Get this out of the way. We've got our little mixer here. Now this requires very little mixing. In fact, the, uh, me using an electric mixer is kind of just me being lazy. Put this on the spoon rest. And, uh, this won't take very long. So I won't even have to speed this segment up. kill me if I do what I was about to do, so I'll just put these in the sink nicely. Uh, okay. Nicely. Yeah, Alfred will kill you. Yeah. That might have been the opposite, but okay! Alright, so next, I'm gonna grab this pie dish from you, and we're gonna dump this into our pie dish. There we go. Just let it soak right in there. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean, okay? It, it smells okay. Oh, do you want me to put a bit more sugar in there? No. We can put some more brown sugar. No, you're fine. All right. You know what? Yes, yes. We're just going to sprinkle some on top. We're not going to properly mix it in. Just a little bit. We're just going to do the wabam. The wabam sugar. Do you know what the wabam sugar is? Some it's, stupid thing you made up. It's no, no, no. Actually, it's kind of a, it's practically a copyright steal from the Emerald guy. Remember him? Remember him? Yeah, probably. Anyway, 
as he goes about bad with things, right? This, this, oh, the spice weasel guy. Yes, the ah. spice weasel guy. There we go, and we're just what bam in the top. What bam in the top. Now, we did preset our oven to 425 degrees. I'm not too concerned about waiting until it gets fully preheated, but uh, I'm gonna tell you right now that we're only doing that for the first 10 or 15 minutes. I want to form a crust on top of my pie. So 10 or 15 minutes at uh, 425 degrees, just like this. Pop that in, it's on the middle rack. You can put it on the middle rack too. Yeah. And uh, we'll get Alfred in here to clean up what little mess I did make, and I'll see you in, uh, let's say, 12 and a half minutes. Yeah. All right then. I don't know why I keep talking about Alfred, because I've lived here now, what, two years? Still haven't seen him. Back for more pie. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like Alfred did a pretty good job of tidying up in just uh, under 10 minutes now. Ah. Uh, no, I saw you. You came in, you, you put on a skirt, you put lipstick on. Like I said, in, you it has been off. under 10 minutes. So uh, that means that we have a couple of minutes to prep things up. Got a little swab of butter here. I'm just gonna paint this butter. A swab? A swab. And we're painting. We're painting the other side of the pie crust. You won't see other people doing this, but I wanna bat stamp my pie. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the butter bat stamp. on. Is yeah. that like your fancy word for tramp stamp? It's all buttered up. Look at that. Look at that beautiful buttering job right there. And uh, You know, I'm actually kind of gonna... shocked that you got the lipstick off in time. Oh, oh, oh too much, too much. No, there's no such thing as too much brown sugar. I guess that just means uh, spread it around. Spread it around, because we are about to fold this. We are going to make a panzerotti. No, no, wait, it's going to be baked. It's a calzone. Yeah, I was going to say. We're going to make a calzone. Panzerottis are uh, deep fried there, Batman. That's your favorite word. Mm, I do love deep fried. Okay, and then we're going to take just a dab of vanilla extract. But wait, let's just, let's find out how much vanilla extract I'm going to put after I poured it. Careful. Careful. Uh... Yeah. Quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah. Quarter of a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. Now we don't have this much space on the pie, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna fold it up like I said. Oh, you're not caping it down in, up, cape yes. it up. Whatever Look at the fuck this. You wanna call it. Look at this. Mm. Don't be afraid to get your your sticky fingers all over the outside of this. Uh. Oh yeah, there we go. Mmm. Now, we are building up a little bit of a, of a hard layer on top of our pumpkin pie, specifically so that we can backstamp it! Uh, Alright, so now we're going to put the lid on this because we don't want any disasters. Alfred does not like any messes in the kitchen today. And we're going to get some, uh, let's, let's see if we can get three. One more, four! We're going to go for four. That's one little batty. Ooh, ooh, we want them to stay together, you stay with that. See, so that's to stay as a sandwich. You tried to pull it up and give me two little bats. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's two. Two little batties. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, we can do four. We can do four! There's gonna be batty number four. I wonder what kind of pleasure you get out of the lipstick and the skirt while cleaning up. That's yeah. kind of weird. Has Alfred been dressing up while cleaning again? Uh, yeah, yeah, he called himself Batman. Alfred would not do that. That would be very disrespectful. Uh-huh. Now, we have this extra dough here. Uh, this is sweetened, buttered, vanilla'd up dough. Uh, we'll, we'll find a use for this. Uh. We'll find a use for this. So, next up, we're going to grab our oven mitts. And uh, actually, we only need one oven. No, let's let's be careful. This is still going to be a bit sloppy. Oh, you being careful! Wow. I have to be very careful. It's demanded of me to uh, use caution. So, see here. Make sure you set your oven to 350, Batman. And uh, we're going to turn our oven down to 350 degrees because that is a proper baking temperature. Oh, oh it's already there. All right. And we're going to pull this out. So I started to solidify a little bit. 
Um, I could have used a little more solidity there, but that is okay because these are. It's gonna sit there. So we have our little baddies here, our little baddie sandwiches. Time to make some Batman soup. Yes, here's our Batman soup. In a pie. Batman soup in a pie. You're on fire tonight. Uh huh. Must be all that cat burgling that you've been doing. Oh, yeah. Squeaky, squeaky, right? That's why you're not caught. Yes. Squeaky, squeaky. There we go. Okay, uh, back in the oven for Ooh. like. For There's like, little bats in my soup. For like half an hour. So we'll open up our oven. Don't worry about letting the heat escape. It has to be baking temperature. We don't want to burn the cookies either. I mean, I mean, the bat stamp. Uh -huh. Don't burn the bat stamp. I will see you in about, oh, say, half an hour! Yep. Time to go wait for Albert again. I forgot to hang up my oven for these. I'm gonna need these later. Stupid. There! Yeah, now we're good. Uh, don't worry if there's any butter or brown sugar inside of your oven mitts, it comes right out. I guess there's no sense of me being sitting around here. Ah, uh, I'll be back too. Yeah. Welcome back! It's been half an hour, and uh, we are ready to take our pumpkin pie out of the oven Wait, with clean. little bat stamps on it. Yeah. Now, uh, my hands are clean, but the insides of these gloves probably have a little bit of deliciousness in them, but that's okay. And it's who knows what else? And who knows what else? Yeah. Alright, alright, here it goes. Ooh, that Did Albert clean up? up? Oh, take that out. Turn off the oven. There we go. And... Ta-da! A pumpkin pie with bat stamps on it. Ooh. Perfect for serving to be. Why was there a baking tray in there? What are you talking about? This. I don't know if I should. What is it, Batman? There's did, something else in the oven. Did Oliver do it? He must have. Well, oh my god, what did Oliver do, Batman? Let me. It's probably hot, so let me move this aside. We'll make some room. I mean, bon appetit! Dessert is served! What's in the oven? You... It's, uh... It's, uh... Whoa! Is that a penis? Whoa! I, I, yeah... Whoa! Alfred did that! Wow! Albert must have done that, right, Batman? He must have. Once you've had black, you can't go back, right, Batman? Look at those chocolate salty balls. Yep. Look at that. Wow. I, I just Albert wondered knows why. You well. Albert why? Knows I mean, you well. I know we wow. had some extra dough, but. Wow. Well, Albert does good. Good for him. Yep. And look at that pie! Yes! So we have a uh, pumpkin pie here. So our pumpkin pie with our little bat stamps on it yeah. looks delicious. And we put a little extra wha-bam on top, which was our dark brown sugar. We put a little bat stamp on there. The bat stamps, like I said, are double layered to make sure that they weren't going to burn. Then we had some butter and vanilla extract and some... Wait a minute, for you guys it was just a few seconds ago. I mean, for me it was half, a long half an hour. Uh. But, but for them it's just a few seconds. And, uh, do you think that thing tastes good? I don't know, maybe you should nibble on it. I was, I, I think I'm going to. Oh! It's just a cookie, come on! <laughs> it's, <laughs> you, you know what, I'll just have to nibble from the bottom then. No, but never, oh. no, you know what? You know <laughs> what? <laughs> bon appetit, your pie is served with... Penis! Yeah! Go Alfred, Alfred must have done that. You rock, Alfred! Yeah. Pumpkin pie and penis. Whoa. So, um, be sure to subscribe, everyone. And, uh, happy penis. I mean, Halloween. Ha, <laughs> ha. I'm gonna try some of the pie. And penis. Bye.